Hi, I'm Hector Garcia, and I would like to show you one of my favorite features of QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant 2018 called Batch Enter Transactions. Batch Enter Transactions, it's available in all versions of QuickBooks Enterprise and in QuickBooks Desktop Accountant. However, I will be using QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant for the purposes of this demonstration. It's important to mention that batch enter transactions, it's part of a group of batching features available in Enterprise and Accountant Edition in order to help accountants and accounting professionals make batch corrections inside of a QuickBooks file. Now the transaction types that are available through batch enter transactions are gonna be checks, deposits, invoices, credit memos, bills, and vendor credits. So before showing you how the feature works, let me give you some context. Let's assume that we actually have a spreadsheet that looks like this, that contains the daily summary of transactions, let's say sales transactions, and this was either created in Excel beforehand, or maybe it was exported or extracted from some other transaction system. Now we need to make sure that the data fields in Excel also match the data fields in QuickBooks. Let's take a look at this. We have date, invoice number, customer, item, description, quantity, price, and amount. So we're gonna match this inside of the batch enter function inside QuickBooks Enterprise and QuickBooks Accountant. I'm gonna click on the Accountant menu and I'm gonna click on Batch Enter Transactions. Then I need to choose the transaction type that I'm going to be importing. In this particular case, it's going to be invoices and credit memos. Now, invoices and credit memos are combined in the same screen, so the positive numbers will be invoices, the negative numbers will be credit memos. Now, let's make sure that the columns inside QuickBooks Enterprise match the spreadsheet. Let's look at the spreadsheet one more time. Date, invoice number, customer, item, description, quantity, price, and amount. Now it's important to mention that you're not limited to those specific columns, but those are the ones that we happen to have in our spreadsheet. So let's click on customize columns on the top right, and let's select which are the columns that we're gonna be using. So we're definitely gonna be using date, transaction number, Customer, so we're good so far. Terms was not part of my spreadsheet, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Then I have amount, description, item, and quantity, and those were all part of my spreadsheets. And I have rate, tax code, tax item. So let me get rid of tax code, tax item, tax amount, and total. We can actually move, just move total a little bit up so it's on the same sequence as quantity, rate, and total. These tax codes, we're only going to need if there's sales tax involved in the transaction. Now let's review the order one more time. Date, number, customer, amount, description, item, quantity, rate, and total. Something's off, let's double check. Date, number, customer, item, description. Let's start with that. So we have date, number, customer. Let's go ahead and move item up and move description up. There we go. Let's take a look at the last three, quantity, price, and amount. So let's bring that over, quantity, rate, and amount. Perfect. The ones towards the end, we can ignore for now. So we'll hit okay. Then we're gonna go over to our spreadsheet. We're gonna select the data set and we're gonna copy that. So we'll right click and click on copy. Then we're gonna move over to QuickBooks. We're gonna select the first cell, right click and paste. And like magic, all the information comes straight into my batch enter screen. Now you will notice in red, any transactions that contain a customer name, vendor name, an item name, an account name, or a class name that is not part of my database. At that point, I can click on that 
and it will ask me, would you like to create the customer? And I'm gonna go ahead and click on quick add. There we go, no more red alerts. You will notice at the bottom, total amount of invoices and total amount of credit memos. I'm gonna go ahead and click on save transactions and hit yes. And I'm just gonna review the transactions for that day. So let me go ahead and pull up a report, company financial, profit and loss standard, and I'm gonna select just the date of those transactions so we can isolate exactly what we did. So I will select October 23rd, which happened to be the date that we chose. And then we're gonna see the transactions in there. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on that dollar amount and double click on any of these transactions. And those were the actual invoices that were imported with the batch enter transactions. Now, this is another one of those tools that has saved me hours and hours of work because our example was with invoices, but you can do this with bank checks, you can do this with deposits, and you can also do it with credit card charges. So if your bank allows you to export the transactions into CSV file or Excel, you should be able to do a lot of data importing with batch enter, which should save you hours and hours of work. So if you don't already have QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant for your firm, go ahead and call the number of the screen so you can speak to one of the sales engineers over at Intuit that specialize with their accountant product. I hope you enjoy QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant 2018.